Hello there and welcome to Code Journey. In this video, I'll be showing you how to extract text from a PDF file within your PHP application. This video assumes you already know object oriented PHP and also about Composer, the dependency manager for PHP. If you don't know object oriented PHP or you don't know Composer, please no need to fret. You can also follow along and learn if you want to. But here is just a brief description of Composer. Composer is the dependency manager for PHP. Dependencies refers to packages, external packages that you make use of in your application. With Composer, we can easily install these packages, delete these packages, or even update these packages. And just in case you have to move your application to a different device for some reason, since you already have Composer within your application, you can easily install all the packages you used initially in the previous device. So really, this package, this application Composer, really makes dependency management easy. But no worries, as you improve, you guys will learn more about it. So please, let's go back to why you are here. The library we'll be using is the PDF parser library. It's an open source library and I'll leave a link to the docs, the documentation I mean for this library. All right then, so let's get started. To install the library using Composer, all we need to do is specify this command in our terminal within our code editor this command here composer require small lot pdf parser you can easily copy it go to your favorite code editor you open the terminal and then you hit enter of course composer sorry you say composer caps lock on Composer require require and then you just simply hit enter to install the library in your application. But I already have the library installed and also I have Composer installed as well of course. If you look at the vendor directory you will see small lots. That's the package here, the PDF parser package. All right, so now that I have the library installed already, what we need right now is just two things, the location to our PDF file and a PDF parser object. But let's get the location to our PDF file first. Now I have a sample PDF file here, mypdffile.pdf. So all I will need to do is type in the file name, mypdffile.pdf. If, for example, the file is not in the same directory as your application, please make sure to specify the full directory path for the file. So that you don't receive any errors. Now that we have gotten our PDF file location, what we need now is to create a PDF parser object. PDF parser. All right. We've gotten our PDF location. We've also gotten a PDF parser object. So what we need to do right now is to call a method known as the parse file method. This method returns the PDF object and it takes in the location of the PDF file you want to parse. P 
PDF location. Okay. So, so far we've gotten the PDF file location. We've also created the PDF parser object and we've called the, sorry, pass file method. And now what we can do is to get the text from the PDF file. We can name this text. We simply say PDF gets text. Now that we've gotten the text, we can easily print it out using the echo statement. Echo function, I mean to say. Sorry. Alright, so let's see the outputs on the browser. Hello. Alright, so we've got the text. So this is all the text from the PDF that I passed. Aside from just simply guessing all the text, the get text method can receive parameters on receive to receive a set of text from a set of pages. For example, if I should pass in five here, it will return the text starting from the first page up onto the fifth page. So let's see the result of that. Alright. So this is it. Also we can also get text from specific pages. And to do that, let's say for example, we want to get text from just the second page. To do that first, we need to call the get pages method. This method returns an array of page objects, an array corresponding to all the pages in the PDF. The page we want to get the text from is the third page or the second page rather. So we can simply call the second page and we say get texts. So let's see the output on the browser and yay. We got a text from the second page. So that basically is the PDF parser library in action. I'll leave a link to the description so you, of the um, library on GitHub so you can go and check it out yourself. That's it. I hope you find this helpful. And also, thank you very much for stopping by.